Now, most of you know that the name of my channel is Absolute Math Magic, and we have primarily been focused on mathematical card magic. Well, mathematics finds its way into other arenas that can certainly be called magical in nature. So I have here something called a rattleback. And if you're looking for an inexpensive magical gift for somebody, this is it. Okay, so it's a piece of plastic here. In the case of the one here, it's actually brass, I believe. Um, so the magical quality of this object is the following. If I spin this, let's, I'll just show you here. If I spin this, Newton's laws of motion would, st would say that this object will stay in motion until acted upon by some external force. And the external force here is friction. Eventually, friction slows down the rotation of this object. Okay, And that's all explained within the framework of Newtonian physics. So no violation of anyone's expectations there. But suppose I tell you that I have developed over the years the ability to set objects in motion and just with my psychic energy and power, I can bring them to a stop and I can even reverse the direction of their rotation. So let me just demonstrate that here. So I'm going to go ahead and spin this again. Oh, and then we'll just kind of get it to spin in the other way. Should we do that again? So I'm not only going to bring it to a full stop, I'm going to rotate it in the opposite direction. And then we'll just rotate it. Whoa. Okay, well, certainly there's something strange going on here. This is certainly violating just about everyone's expectation out there. If you haven't seen, oh, well, it takes a lot of effort to get this thing to stop, uh, but it eventually will with my psychic energies and concentration here. So is this indeed a violation of Newtonian physics here? Well, at first it was thought to be. <laughs> um, there's many mathematical models describing the behavior of this object, and they don't all agree as to why this object has the properties that it has. And in a recent video, I talked about one of the ways that we achieve a magical result is for an object to have properties that violate what we believe to be true about the world around us. And this is such an object. So if this is spun in a counterclockwise direction, it spins freely. And it would spin forever if it wasn't due to friction. But if it's spun in a clockwise direction, it will not only stop, but it will reverse the direction of its rotation. Okay. So what is going on here? Well, the rattleback is flat on top. Hopefully you can kind of see that. But it has an asymmetrical ellipsoidal bottom. So it's kind of a strange shaped bottom, uh, which will spin on its axis in a preferred direction. Okay, so this wants to turn in a certain direction. And if it's spun in the opposite direction, it becomes unstable and that instability causes it to rattle and then reverse its spin to its preferred direction. And to kind of see what's going on, if you just set it like this and then just push down at a 90 degree angle like that, you can see that it wants to spin counterclockwise. That really is its, quote, preferred rotational direction. So when you spin it, in the opposite way to that, it's essentially fighting with itself, which causes this instability, which then triggers this rattling. And technically, it's the, quote, rattling that gets it spinning in the other direction. Um, I thought I'd show you also this one here. Um, so it's metal. I think it's brass. So it's heavier. It's a heavier material, but it has that same 
a property, a preferred direction of spin, that it really will fight against the opposite direction to regain its preferred directional spin. And believe it or not, I've never seen one, but I know they exist. There are actually shapes where regardless of whether you spin it clockwise or counterclockwise, it will stop and spin in the opposite direction. So what it does is like if you spin it like this, it'll come to a stop and then it'll kind of spin that way and then that will come to a stop and then it'll reverse again. Then that will come to a stop <laughs> until it runs out of energy due to the frictional forces acting on it. So anyway, I thought I'd share this on my channel. Um, I have many, many seemingly magical objects that defy our expectations and really keep life interesting and keep us humble and always guessing, can we 100% rely on our physical senses and perception? So thank you for watching. If you want to pick up one of these, I, I just bought these from Amazon. They come in a pack of like 10 or 15 or something. I think they cost like $150, $1.50 each or something. Uh, this one was more expensive and I honestly don't remember. I pr probably bought it on Amazon as well. So anyway, thank you for watching and take a look at other magical things on the Absolute Math Magic channel.